Today we continue our 75th anniversary celebration with a look at what's become a very popular sport for all ages in the Bi-State. Five on your side's Justina Coronel takes us back to the 1970s and the beginning of girls soccer here in St. Louis. Girls soccer is one of the most popular youth sports in the U.S., but that wasn't always the case, especially in the 1970s. We reached into the archives and found this report from 1979, declaring soccer no longer a sport strictly for boys. If you haven't noticed, it's not just young men and boys with sturdy legs playing soccer these days. That's right, girls and young ladies are into soccer in a big, big way. We caught this action at Duborg High School in South St. Louis, where the second annual holiday soccer tournament for girls was underway. Why are girls playing this rugged sport of soccer? Competition, I guess. It's exciting, everything like that. Oh, it's just a sport that's really fun, <laughs> I guess. It's just great. <laughs> teams were entered in the Duborg tournament and we chatted with some of the coaches and fans. Do the women play differently from the men? Not really. For the most part, we're probably even a little more aggressive. I guess what they lack in skills, they usually try to make up by being aggressive. Women are just as good as men, if not better, in certain sports. Especially, well, St. Louis is a very sports-minded town, so soccer especially. They have just as much tension as the professionals do. It means just as much to them. They just play with their whole hearts. Fantastic. Really wonderful. And why are you here? My daughter's playing. I enjoy soccer, but the caliber is really great. These kids are playing like, you know, it's the last game in their life. You come to all the games? Well, we try to spread ourselves out. There are 16 of us, so we try to encourage the girls by each attending a couple of the games in the different sports. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, as you can see, the girls are as tough as the guys, and there's going to be a lot more in the next in our series. This was part of a series of reports called You've Come a Long Way. Now, that was a popular advertising slogan in the 1960s and 70s for Virginia Slim Cigarettes. The You've Come a Long Way Baby ad campaign focused on women's empowerment.